Income tax 2021-2022 tax software example, employment taxes. Get ready to get refunds to the max diving into income tax 2021-2022. Lacert Tax Software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but you might want the Form 1040, which you can find on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov, starting point, single filer, Adam Smith, living in Beverly Hills, 90210. We're starting with the Schedule C type of business, flowing then through to line eight, other income from Schedule 1. Let's take a look at that flow through. We've got the Schedule C, in essence, being an income statement. We've got the 120,000 starting point on the income 20,000 of expenses the net of the 100,000 is what then is flowing through to the schedule one schedule one line three part one then flowing through to the first page of the form 1040 form 1040 there's the 100,000 line eight we also then have the self-employment tax calculated down here in the schedule se on the 100,000 this is social security and medicare based on our earnings separate from the payroll taxes so this is where the distinction that we'll kind of narrow it down on here a bit will be that 14129 goes back to the 1040 page number two so this is the other tax as as opposed to the federal income tax now we got the social security and medicare half of that is deductible so we could take half of that on schedule one as an above the line deduction page number two 7065 that 7065 goes back to the form 1040 and is right here 7065 getting the adjusted gross income to the 92 935 we've got the standard deduction which is just what it normally is no matter what the income was whether it be w2 or schedule c 12550 single filer we've got the qualified business income deduction we're letting the count the the software calculate at this point that gets us to the 64308 on the taxable income and then in page two the tax calculated for the federal income tax using the progressive tax system 9009 the 14 129 down here in the other tax to get us to the 2429 the total tax other tax being the self-employment tax let's go back to the schedule c and let's imagine that we had employees now so now we're not just like our own it's not just us that has the net income which is all subject to the kind of the similar thing as in payroll taxes which is social security and medicare which we're going to be subject to at the bottom line but we also have employees that we deal with now employees like anything else that we pay for if it if it wasn't so complicated with all the other regulations it would just be an easy thing we would just say okay it'd be just like anything else i paid for services i'm just going to pay somebody and i'm going to have employee expenses but it gets more complicated than that because of course the employees you have to have withholdings on it you got to do you got to deal with the payroll taxes part of those payroll taxes are social security and uh medicare taxes so Let's just imagine here that we've got our wages. These are gonna be the wages that we're, we're paying and we have the related payroll taxes. So if I go back on over to my expenses in the data input, I'm gonna say, okay, let's say the wages, let's say that someone earns a thousand dollars. So we'll just say, okay, there's a thousand dollars of wages. How would I report that? And I won't get into this in detail because it's a whole nother thing, but I just wanna distinguish it from like the self-employment taxes and how we treat that. So if they earned if they earned ten thousand dollars, we would have to withhold from them their federal income tax, their social security, and their Medicare taxes. So we would take those things out. So they would get something other than ten thousand dollars because we acted as the tax collector and took that money from them. But realize that we're not going to record that generally on on our side in our books in this case as payroll taxes because it's really just wages to them. So we're gonna put that full 10,000 here in the wages, even though that full 10,000 didn't go to them because in theory, whatever we withheld from them, federal income tax, social security and Medicare, we then paid on their behalf to the government. So that means they earned it, it would be like they earned it and then they paid their taxes. We just stepped in and didn't give them the money and paid their taxes and then we have to pay on top of that our matching component of the payroll taxes, which we would get to deduct up top. So in the taxes here up top, I'm gonna to say this is the payroll taxes, and I'm just gonna do a quick calculation for the payroll taxes and say that if they earn 10,000 
times the social security part, which would be 0 0.062. This would be our employer portion. So this will be social security. I'm gonna say with 620. And then the Medicare, if they earn 10,000 times 0 0.0145, our employer portion, Medicare is gonna be 145. So this is just a quick example. So that means they would have paid their portion of Social Security and Medicare, with which we took from their $10,000 and paid on their behalf, but we would deduct them as just part of the wages because in theory, we didn't pay that. We just are the ones that were facilitating the tax collecting transaction. But then we had to pay another $765 we're estimating here on payroll taxes, which is Social Security and Medicare, not based on our wages, but based on their wages, that's the payroll taxes that we had to pay over and above the $10,000 that we agreed to pay the employee as part of just the, the cost of doing business. So if I pulled this over to the to the 1040 now, you could see now we've got the 10,000 for the wages, which is deductible, which includes the employee portion of the payroll taxes because they paid it. And then we've got the taxes, which is including just the payroll taxes at this point in time which includes Social Security and Medicare that we had to pay over and above the the taxes that we that uh, were the employee portion and the wages that we paid to the employee. And they are Social Security and Medicare, but they're based on the employee wages on their 10,000. That's why they're payroll taxes, even though they're kind of like going into the same bucket of Social Security and Medicare. And then this net income, which is now 89,253, uh, that then is kind of like what we are earning and the IRS is still basically seeing us as both the employee and employer on this net income. Therefore, we will be paying Social Security and Medicare as well on and that's calculated on the schedule. Uh, I'm sorry, not the schedule SE or it is the schedule SE, not the schedule 1040 ES SE. So we've got the, the Schedule SE, and this is us calculating, once again, the self-employment tax, which is the Social Security and Medicare, but it's based on the bottom line of the income statement after having taken the deduction for wages, which includes the employee portion of Social Security and Medicare, their portion of their Social Security and Medicare, and our portion as the employer of their Social Security and Medicare or Social Security and Medicare paid on their earnings. This is the Social Security and Medicare paid on our net amount and notice again the amount here is basically twice or the rates are twice what they would be if you see them on a w-2 or if you see our employer portion because we are basically being charged the employee and employer portion of that net amount on the schedule c so that's just just kind of a just to keep those things a little bit distinct because again it gets a little bit confusing when you're talking about social security and medicare and payroll taxes and then kind of the equivalent of like payroll taxes on our side and whose income are we calculating the payroll taxes on or social security and medicare on is it the employees or is it in ours and just realize that in practice most people don't really understand the how payroll kind of works so they don't really understand that why we, re we record the gross wages here and how that includes kind of the payroll taxes for the withholdings that we take and why we only break out like the half of the payroll taxes that are the employer portion because th the employee portion are already included in here. If you understand that, you've got a big, that could be quite valuable in many, in many businesses and tax areas and, and whatnot that's helpful to know and to explain to people and most people still have a kind of get confused over what's the you know why am i paying social security down here when i'm also dealing with social security and medicare up here and it's because it's the payroll taxes based on the employee's wages versus this the